Carol, thank Carol, you very thanks much. Thanks a lot. On Saturday, it'll be a year since Madeleine McCann disappeared from her family's holiday apartment in Portugal. And to mark that anniversary, her parents, Kate and Jerry, are making a fresh appeal for information to find her. They join us now. Hello to you both. Thank you very mm -hmm. much for coming in. Why the media blitz? In the documentary last night, Jerry, you said the whole world now knows about Madeleine McCann. So why are you appealing for, for more information? Is there any more information? That's, uh, I think there is more information. The problem we have is we've always said that we would leave no stone unturned and uh, we don't know what information is in the inquiry, what is not in the inquiry, what has been done and what hasn't been done. Uh, I think it's unlikely everything has been done and we need to know that it's our daughter. We strongly believe she's still out there. People may not have come forward before. They may have come forward. The information may not be um, seen as relevant. So we really want to appeal to people. And clearly, there was going to be absolutely huge media attention on us. And this is trying to capitalise on that. There was going to be media attention whether we participated or not. Mm. Uh, we had a, a lot of emails from viewers. Uh, some supportive, uh, some critical, some asking questions. We're going to put some too, if we may. Uh, Leslie Chesterfield, in, Leslie in Chesterfield puts one, asked many times and says, I understand that you must have been asked this a million times, but she wants to know, as a mother of a young child herself, why you felt it was okay to leave the children while you went out to have something to eat. It's a question that keeps coming back. I know you've answered it many times, but people still want the answer. I think that's right. I think we, we have answered it. And, you know, personally, I feel we've been persecuted enough about this matter and we do that to ourselves so we don't really need to keep going over it. I mean I've said many times I couldn't love more Madeline more than I do. I wouldn't have done anything if I had any idea there's an element of risk. And I can't say that anymore really, mm. you know. I mean there's two things there. The first thing is we felt completely safe. If we had had any inkling that it was unsafe, we wouldn't have done it. The second thing there is we can't change it. You know, what we have done is we discovered Madeline was taken and we have done everything there. You know, and let's no matter not forget, how many times we've forget opened. there's been an evil crime committed. You know, whatever anybody says about us, mm. is it right for somebody to go into your apartment and take your child out of your bed? Do you think that's what happened? Because some people wonder, well, is that what happened or is it possibly that Madeline woke up and was upset and went wandering looking for you and, and got lost that way. I know that's what happened, you know. How, how I, do you know? Well, I can't, I can't so give sure. too many details, can I? But I know my daughter and I know what I found and that's all I can say. I mean, that, that's very important. We're in a, a very difficult situation because uh, the file is still under judicial secrecy. We're not allowed to give investigational detail uh, and therefore, you know, there's a number of issues about the way the room was, the situation, and we are as certain as anyone can be, uh, knowing the facts that we know. And we know more than a lot of people that are actually standing up there giving opinions. We know more facts, and a lot of people are just speculating. And mm. you're saying that you can't tell us those facts because you're still official suspects yeah. and you're still well, involved in no, the investigation? No, it's because of judicial secrecy. Okay. You know, that it, we can't. You, know um, you, you said that um, the night before, Madeline and Sean had been very upset. And had, well, I and didn't say that, actually. What, that, that was in the... That was in the statement, wasn't it, that, that was leaked out. Was, was that not the case? Was she, was she not upset the night before and but talked to you the night before? What we said is there, and it was uh, the next morning, uh, Madeline had said to us, uh, why didn't you come when we cried last night? Mm -hmm. And at the time, we thought, that's odd. And you know, we looked at each other and we asked her directly uh, when she meant, and she just dropped it and moved on. And we thought, when they're crying, we'd been checking, it would be exceptional for particularly the twins to cry go back to sleep in between our checks so obviously kids cry all the time when they're getting bathed when they're tired when we're doing that and we did wonder if it was when they were getting put to bed or around that time um, and I think you have to remember for us everything is seen in context of the abduction mm -hmm. at that time we were having a very relaxed family holiday and yes it was a, a little line there but you know hindsight's a wonderful thing mm -hmm. if, if what happened didn't happen we wouldn't have you know for, wouldn't have crossed our minds again about Madeline making that comment but because of what happened suddenly that was significant and that's the reason why we told the police um, a lot of children uh, taking a very close 
What an interest, a concern in what happened. Uh, Ryan's 12 years old, he's in Kilmarnock, he's, he's after this. How is it affecting the other children, so the twins, who you mentioned are, are three, nearly a year on, uh, how are you staying strong for yourself and the children as well? But the, the twins, what do they know about it all? I mean, Sean and Emily are doing great. They're just brilliant little people and, you know, they love Madeline very much. You know, Madeline was with them for most of their life. You know, she's still very much in their life. Um, they know she's missing, um, and they know that everyone's looking for her. But as yet, you know, they're not asking more questions. And to be honest, we can't tell them really because we mm. don't know. You know. Actually, this one from Ellie just just wanted to put this one as well. He's 13. He's